Hello everyone, I'm Brandon with Lenovo and I'm here today with the ThinkStation E32 Tower Workstation. Today we are going to be replacing the Wi-Fi units. This process will take about 20 minutes and it should be easy enough for anyone to do. The only tool required will be a Phillips screwdriver, but a non-metallic pry tool might also come in handy. Before we continue, we need to make sure that we are protected against electrostatic discharge or ESD. Make sure to shut down the computer and disconnect all cables and accessories from the system. For further information, watch our Understanding Electrostatic Discharge video by clicking the link in the description. And now that we're ready, let's get started. Before removing the computer cover, we must first remove two thumb screws. Then we're going to press the release button, slide the cover towards the rear of the system, and remove it. Next, we're going to remove the front bezel. But first, we have to disconnect the cable from the system board. Next, we're going to press outward on the three clips to release them. Then we're going to swing the front bezel open like a door, pull the cable through the hole in the chassis, and remove the front bezel. Now we're going to unscrew the rear Wi-Fi antenna then we're going to disconnect the front antenna cable from the wireless card. Now we're going to pry the front antenna from its adhesive backing and pull the cable out through the hole in the chassis. Next, we're going to press inward on the release button to open the retaining latch. Now we're going to reach into the chassis, lift the Wi-Fi card up and out of the socket. Next, we're going to disconnect the rear antenna cable from the wireless card Uninstall a single retaining screw. Then lift the card out of the socket and remove it. And here we have our replacement Wi-Fi card. So we're going to place the card into the socket. Install a single retaining screw. and connect the rear antenna cable to the main terminal. Now we're going to place the Wi-Fi card into the chassis, align it with the socket, and press down on the card until it is fully seated. Now we're going to close the retaining latch and apply pressure until it locks into place. Now we're going to thread the cable through the hole in the chassis and once we reach the antenna, we're going to stick it to the front of the chassis using the adhesive backing. Now we're going to connect the front Wi-Fi antenna cable to the wireless card. Now we're going to replace the rear Wi-Fi antenna. Now we're going to feed the cable through the hole in the chassis. And we want to assure that the hinges on the bezel are aligned with the holes in the chassis. Once we have those lined up, we can close the front bezel like a door and apply pressure until the clips lock it into place. Now we're going to connect the cable to the system board. When replacing the cover, it is important that the tabs on the inside of the cover line up with the holes in the chassis. Then once you have those lined up, you just slide the cover towards the front of the system. Now we're going to replace two thumb screws. 